What's going on everybody? Brent Simmons here with Roofing Insights. So when you think of a roof, you probably think of a couple things. If I had to guess, you'd probably think of shingles, ridge cap, ridge vent, something that you can see from the ground. Well, in today's video, I wanna cover what is not seen. I wanna cover what holds this all together. The true heroes of your roof, your roofing nails. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first nail I wanna talk about is the most common roofing nail there is. And right now we're just talking about shingled roofs. So this is your standard galvanized coil nail. When I say coil nail, it means it's wrapped up in this long coil like this. These are the most inexpensive nails that there are and they're galvanized. There's two different ways that they galvanize nails. You have a hot dip and you have electro galvanized. For the sake of this video, we're just call it, gonna call them galvanized nails. Um, but this is your most common nail. They're smooth shank, fed through a gun. This is gonna be used in 99% of shingle applications. The second type of nail is just like the first one, except this is a ring shank coil nail. Ring shank nails, as you can see, have these ridges on them. And what the ridges do is they provide more bite into the wood that they're going into. So as it goes through the shingle into the plywood, these are gonna provide more resistance against the nail pulling back out. These are slightly more expensive than the coil nails and they're a little bit harder to get, but this is a really good upgrade in terms of a, of a nail. Now, what I would call probably the Mac Daddy of all coil nails is a stainless steel coil nail. So right there, you can see that they're all shiny, stainless steel nails. These are roughly $150 a box, more than double the price from the galvanized nail. And these will never rust because they are stainless steel. Stainless steel does not rust. We use these in those areas where let's say it's a 3, 4, 12, and you can still use shingles with an ice and water underlayment. We're gonna try to use these stainless nails just in case it's extra protection long-term. If there's any moisture that gets trapped under the shingles, which is common in low pitch roofs, these will never rust. So you don't have to worry about them leaking over time. So now that we've gotten all of the coil nails out of the way, let's talk about some specialty nails. So this is actually a copper nail. It's not in a coil, but it is made out of 100% copper. Now this is the type of nail that we use when we install specialty roofing products like a slate. You can get longer ones if you're dealing with wood shake. Grand Manor shingles, we use these. But really, even if you're installing a standard architectural roof and you're adding copper valleys, you have to use a copper nail for that. So any copper accessory or flashing, you have to use copper because different metals don't match and they'll start to rot each other out. That's a whole nother video. So now that we've covered the roofing nails that we most commonly use, let's talk about these. These are called plastic cap nails. These are most commonly used to hold down the underlayment um, or felt on your roof. What makes these kind of neat is that this little plastic cap, when it goes into the decking, makes a nice tight seal if it's nailed correctly. When you dry in a house or put the felt up and you don't have shingles, these, if they're nailed straight into the wood, should not leak. This is a metal cap nail. Now this type of nail, same design as the plastic cap, has a nice big, almost like washer around it. This one is a ring shank nail as well. But what we use these for is for rolled roofing. There's many different types of rolled roofing, but even on the peel and stick type, you can use these on the base sheet to help secure it. And honestly, over time, it'll stop them from sliding and shifting. So that's primarily what these are used for. I've seen people using these on felt and ice and water. Um, in the Memphis area, we don't really use them for that. These are just commonly used for rolled roofing. So let's talk about why certain nails rust. It depends on what they're made out of. So this stainless steel nail I told you earlier will never rust on you. And that's why it's used in certain applications where it's more susceptible to get wet. Makes sense. But these galvanized nails will eventually rust. What makes these galvanized nails galvanized is that they have a coating of zinc and the zinc is what makes them rust resistant. But over time, that coating of zinc does wear off. Uh, it weathers away and exposes raw steel, which will eventually start to rust. So that's really the main difference. Now, copper nails, copper nails do not rust but they will patina and change color. These are soft to begin with, but if they're installed correctly, they will last as long as those long lasting designer shingles and specialty roofing materials. That's the main difference between the nails, why some rust, why some will not rust. That's it for this video. 
I'm Brent Simmons with Roofing Insights. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thanks. If you guys have any questions about roofing accessories, comment below. We read and answer all our questions. Probably we'll make another video if we have tons of questions about a certain topic. Let us know. Give this video a like. It always helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video.